Hi guys, it's Lisa. I am going to do a quick pour um, with some primary elements. My base paint is Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic. See the consistency? It like leaves a little trace and then disappears. Um, that is mixed with something I found in the back that I forgot I had. I'm going to try this. This Triart Liquid Glass Pouring Medium. So this is mixed with the Artist Loft Black with a tiny, tiny bit of water just to get it to match the consistency of my other paints. I'm also going to use the DecoArt 24 Karat Gold mixed with Floetrol. Um, then I'm going to use Bling It Interference Gold. Now this is mixed with the polypore that comes with the primary elements. It makes it a perfect pouring consistency, so it takes like all your measuring and everything out. This right here is called Dragon. Dragon Fire. Look at this. See that? See the consistency? That is strictly just using the primary elements and the polypore. Now, if you want to paint with a brush with these primary elements, then I would suggest using the enamel because it makes it, you know, it, it's a little bit thicker. But for pouring, this is perfect consistency and it takes the guesswork out. So you can do, like a lot of these recipes all cause for uh, making sure that your consistencies are all the same in all of your colors. So one way to ensure that you're doing that, even if you're a beginner, is to use the primary elements or the polypore with it. This is hot cinnamon and it is ugh, I could bathe in this stuff. This is one of my very favorite. But see how the consistency is all the same because the polypore is the same. And then I have a meridian blue that I'm using. which I was just going to do the Meridian Blue and the Hot Cinnamon, but then I saw the Dragon Fire sitting there going, hey, you haven't used me in a while, and I felt really bad, so I thought I'd throw it in the mix. Again, consistency, the same. Leaves a slight trace, and then disappears. Gorgeous. So along with the Interference Gold, I will be using the Interference Red also. So right now it just looks white, but once it gets on a black background, you're going to see the... Hang on here. See how it's got like a red color shift in it? You'll see it better when it's on. So, all right. So I'm going to put the black base on and then I will be right back and we will get started. Uh, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so I just poured the base paint on, moved it around, and now I'm going to torch out the bubbles that are in it. <clears throat> I don't know how this, um, I don't know how the liquid art pouring medium is going to work with the primary elements because I've not ever used the two together. So we are going to experiment together. And if I have not said it yet, if uh, you are new here, Thanks for joining us and welcome to my channel. 
um, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And yes, I am. It's an episode of Pouring in Your PJs. Welcome to Pouring in Your PJs. Give me a second. I'm Oh. Hey, uh, blah blah blah. I don't know why that just started. Oh, because my internet went down and then it came back up. If you ever want to lay eyes on your children, just like sh shut the internet off and then all hell breaks loose. Hey, hey. You're like, oh, you're still here with the family. I get it. They emerge. Anyway. Okay, so I'm, like I said, I don't know how this liquid art's going to work, but we're going to check it out. So, I think I'm just going to do, come on, the dust is falling. Apparently, I haven't been in here in a couple days. Um, I think I'm going to do a Dutch pour, but I think I'm going to go like this way. Just kind of like, because in case it does have a reaction, then it's got room to spread and do cool things. So, yeah. So like I said, all the primary elements have been mixed with the polypore. Oh, my goodness. This color is to die for. I if I should just do red and gold. No, stick to the plan, Stan. All right. I'm going to put some of this interference. This is the interference red. So it will go very nicely on this hot cinnamon. And I'm going to do the meridian. I'm not going to do a whole lot of the the blues, not like the red, because I really want the red to be a predominant color and if you can see I am going off the edge with it because I want my edges to be as great as the other stuff This is the Bling It Gold Interference. Gorgeous. This is the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Gorgeous. I think I'm just going to put a little bit more of the red through it just because it's fantastic. And look at what I did. Mm. All right. 
right. Hang on. I don't know that it would really matter that much, but it would be a shame for one This is a canvas also. I'm sorry, I didn't finish the thought. It would be a shame for one drip to ruin it, right? So this is a canvas that I already did a pour on previously. So it was with the Artist Loft uh, pre-mixed paints. But I went ahead and I sprayed it with a, a sealer just in case that way I don't get any bleeding from the original painting not that I think I would because the artist rocks were like shiny I do like this that I'm getting but I'm about ready to wreck it because I think I'm going to use my, um, I think I'm going to use my airbrush. Should I use the airbrush? Should I use the, thanks for your contribution, Koja. I think my paints might be a little too thick for the hair dryer, but we will, let me check. Hang on, block your ears. Uh. Hmm. Might work if I plugged it in, eh? All right, let me try it with the hair dryer. So. Please uh, turn your volume down. Ouch! Before I blow it, make sure it's on cool because if you put too much heat on your paint, you might get a skin. Okay, it's got to go on high. Okay, so my paint is too thick, but I went ahead and still blew it as much as I could just to get it to go a little bit. And I'll use my airbrush for the rest of the way. So you just kind of want to like... Sounds like a go-kart donut. Just want to kind of... Have a starting point here. it across the room. So 
want to feather out the edges just a little bit. I'm going to do the same in a like an upward motion because I kind of went up this way. So I kind of want to do the same. I'm losing air here. That's why my stupid thing keeps going. Hang on. Okay. how this line is but it's coming off this edge so I kind of want to just feather it out just a little bit more don't want to mess with it too much because then you could risk going muddy but right now I can see all of the colors and they're not muddied and they're very cool looking like a cool copper type look and I like the negative space and then the negative space yeah like that and then I like this area here with the black and the lines and these pops of that dragon fire all right guys I think I'm gonna leave this one alone um, I like it and I'm gonna torch it the bubbles out and see what happens. I have a feeling it may move a little bit. It's um reacting. It's like I got some I don't know where I got chunks from. So yeah, I have a feeling it's it's really creating a lot of cool looking different kind of cell formations. So these bubbles that won't pop with my torch, I might just leave them because I don't want to risk messing this up. And then if I have to before I resin it, sand it down then I will as I say I'm gonna leave them I'm still screwing with them huh all right so you see how I'm losing a little bit of the negative space it's because you have to get this paint off the bottom of your canvas because it'll continue to pull the paint over so as it drips it just kind of like but it's okay because I think I'm gonna lose it because I think it's gonna do some some things 
some things, I say. Whew, it's hotter than hell down here. Weird, it's usually super cold. Although I've been sick too, so. My paint is very thick. A lot thicker than you would normally use for a Dutch pour. So, I think that's what's going on. But, give me a second. I will get it over on the table in the level spot. And I'll show you a close-up. Oh, I'm almost out of flame. There she blows. Empty. Damn it. All right, give me a Let me pause you and then I'll bring you in on close up. Hang on. Okay. So in the attempt to save a pair of gloves, <laughs> I put paint all over my PJs instead. All right, so I'm losing the black over here, but it's okay because I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful. Do you see that? It... See all them brainy type cells? Look at this. Is that dragon fire? Just like pops of it. See? How it's just like peeking a little bit. Yeah, you guys just saw my gross finger. I smashed it putting in push pins with a hammer on the back. Okay, I'll show you. Ow. Gross. All right. Still got the black over here and I love how the edge is like feathering. Super cool. Sometimes if I mix like the polypore with the Floetrol, um, like with paints that have flow, like if I use the primary elements with polypore and then I use like another color uh, with Floetrol, sometimes they get uh, fractals, which I personally love and sometimes I go for that. I mix those two on purpose. But the liquid art is doing something magical on its own. So, yeah, I'm curious to see how this is going to dry. And I will, uh, I'll show you guys. Um, as soon as it's dry, it should dry pretty quick because polypore dries like real quick so I could just stare at this all day as I'm looking at it it's doing other things oh man I love these colors This whole product line is so fun to experiment with. So, you know, dig deep back in your hoard of pouring mediums that you have and see if you got some liquid art gloss medium. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow after it dries. Bye. All right, guys, this is pretty much dry. Um, 
I lost my negative space over here. But that's okay, because this is going to end up being a background. And I love these colors so much. And I think I'm going to put some texture on here. And it's going to turn into like a background for like a mixed media piece. But I'll probably let it dry one more day. And then... Uh, See what I can do. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the bell to be notified of my next upload. That way when I repost this after I've done with it um, and embellished it, that you won't miss it. So, uh... Also, come check us out on our Facebook group, uh, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. We um, have a great pouring group over there, and I run that with uh, Tammy Anderson. And I will see you guys soon. Oh, I forgot to tell you. If you're looking for the color art products, primary elements, resin art, watercolors, mica flakes, whatever, uh, you can use my code Lisa Wyatt Art One Twenty. That saves you twenty percent on your entire order. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.